Hey Shanti babes and welcome back to another video. So today's video, this is actually my second time filming this video. I feel like the first time I didn't really, I don't know, explain that much enough of what I was really talking about. So I'm just going to go ahead and refilm this entire video and tell you guys on why we had to give up six figures like just saying that just sounds absolutely insane like six freaking figures bro so without further ado guys let's get right into the video first things first if you're new here don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the post notifications so you guys know every single time i upload and drop some more entrepreneurship videos you guys want to see down below some more behind the scenes you know all that fun stuff because i need con like i need you guys to let me know what content y'all want to see you know what i mean like let me know but um essentially today yeah so about two weeks ago well since last restock we made an executive decision to stop wholesale our wholesale business so you have the ashanti collection and then you have ashanti wholesale so the ashanti collection is like um our business business like we're not wholesaling any products it's like our business and then you have the ashanti wholesale which is obviously us wholesaling which is when we started wholesaling lip gloss and wholesaling body butter and that entire like you got to think of it think of it as two separate businesses so that ashanti wholesale generated us six figures last year that ashanti wholesale allowed me to buy my car that i wanted my bmw allowed me to get into this apartment which isn't even an apartment anymore but this was like my dream apartment we weren't even able to afford this apartment when we looked at apartments earlier last year and we were able to buy this apartment i'm on my knees because this apartment isn't even an apartment anymore and it's a workspace and i have nowhere to film except this little nook in front of the window in our master bedroom that's not even our master bedroom so i'm on my knees filming it's just been getting progressively worse but <laughs> we're still in the process of finding a place so just bear with me bear with me but um that business allowed me to stay mentally sane it it brought back my confidence it made me realize hey i was destined to do this because prior to last year um as i always tell you guys in my video i was like so bummed with the business that business wasn't doing anything you know everybody that went into high school i graduated with me was in college and they were doing things my mom kept running into people and they were like you know like oh like what is she doing and it's like i wasn't doing anything i was working with my dad at his store which is what i was doing before i graduated anyway and i wasn't like doing anything i had my business but my business wasn't doing anything and it's just like it was bad it was really bad i was depressed i was mad i wasn't getting sales it was, it was just it was really bad i was down on my luck like it, it was bad is all i gotta say it was bad and then we decided we wanted to add we decided we wanted to add wholesale to our we decided we wanted to wholesale to our business i think it was last february like i can't even really remember it just these last two years have just been absolutely insane and it's so hard for me to remember like sequence of things because like it'll seem like something was forever ago like for, and it really wasn't like it was last year a few months ago you know what i mean like it, it'll seem like it was forever ago but it wasn't so i'm just gonna guess and assume and i think that last year when we added lip gloss wholesale which was february yeah because then the pandemic happened and the pandemic like blew our business up like i don't even know what happened but i don't know if anybody wanted to be starting businesses during the pandemic but i kept filming youtube videos like you know what i mean like when you guys give me excuses that you know y'all ain't getting sales you gotta keep making it happen so i and the pandemic was like listen I, this will happen i brought wholesale in february and it was doing something but like not really and then out of nowhere like this video started going off on youtube and then boom ashanti wholesale said hi see you later then i started filming more videos with the orders i was getting and i was doing more i was posting more you know what i mean like in it, ashanti wholesale ended up pretty much hitting six figures by the end of the year so that was from february to december which isn't even a whole year like you know what i mean like that's not even a whole year so we ended up pretty much hitting we didn't actually didn't mean to hit that because we launched body butters body butter wholesale in november and december and when we launched those two it took off in november and december and we were right on the brink i think logan said we are a few k short of one hundred thousand dollars so six figures we were a few k short than hitting a hundred thousand dollars and like mind you that's less than a year 
and mind you we would have hit it obviously if we you know added if we had more inventory and stock but we didn't so and then as you guys see the Shanti wholesale when we added the body butter wholesale that was before we even blew up on tiktok that was already popping you know what i mean like the body butter was popping skincare industry is busting right now <laughs> like it really is but um and then we had that video pop off in december which was when we went like viral on tiktok and then from then on it's been insanity like our apartment is no longer an apartment we eat out 24 7 because we don't use our kitchen our entire apartment is body butters other body butters other than the bathroom and the bedroom that isn't even a bedroom really anymore and then you have this room which your girl is still on my knees out here filming but our apartment isn't even an apartment anymore and just really thinking back like last december guys was insane like in this december and the end of november and january february like we were like miserable like we were doing well don't get me wrong like we were getting orders like crazy like that was before we did restocks we just kept the website open like madman guys when i say we would be on our feet for like you guys think we're bad now and don't take breaks now what we do now is like a nine to five like a fucking breeze compared to what we did back then and it didn't even like it didn't even click in my head till i was literally like sitting the other day like whoa like we're over here like mad not mad but like damn like we're getting off at 10 11 o'clock at night when i'm sitting here like we used to work from well it actually started happening where we'd get up late because we'd work so late into the night like we'd work till three four five six o'clock in the morning it was bad like it was really bad like we didn't do anything we sat here all day the few breaks that we would get we would sit watch an episode of a show and eat our food and then be right back to work it was bad it was to the point where like he was falling up he was sleeping falling up um i could barely keep myself functioning at times coffee wasn't doing it like we were just struggling like we were struggling. I remember this one time I went to take a nap because like he went to I think at Waffle House. I went to like take a nap. I was supposed to be like for two hours because you know we were supposed to get back up and work. Like you know what I mean? Because work, 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 work. I took a nap for like it was supposed to be like for an hour or two because I could not function. And then I ended up sleeping for like I don't even know like five hours. And he just let me sleep and then like, he kept working. It was, bro, it was bad. Like it was really bad. So, and I was with us still adding wholesale at the time. So then. It's just been crazier and crazier since then like the sales are increasing you know as you guys see the months are starting to slowly increase but i mean you know we minimum hit the threshold that we want to hit each month um but as things keep progressing we're realizing that we don't have the mental capacity to focus on ashanti wholesale and we, we just we just don't like we're just doing so many things like i had so many things planned for ashanti wholesale and i haven't even been able to implement them i was posting when i first um i had launched i think our instagram like a month or so ago and it has like i think seven eight hundred followers on it and i've been i was posting on that app and they was like okay like i was in a mindset because we started calming down you know what i mean like these last few months we've calmed down substantially we still work all the time but we've calmed down like substantially like our process of making and production has just been like way smoother like i'm I, bro i'm telling you i can do a whole story time on last year last year was rough last year to the beginning of this year was rough like <laughs> when people say that's what entrepreneurship is and I, I i don't know what else that could have been anyway like i was posting and i was just doing everything on the ashanti wholesale page you know what i mean like i was on it i was like yeah i'll get ready for this this and this you know what i mean and then we started you know launching our wholesale in the containers our body better wholesale in the containers because you guys were freaking loving the pre-filled and i wouldn't be surprised like our pre-filled body butter alone wholesale and we are doing it for you guys brought in like thousands of dollars like thousands like if our restock was like 20 to 30k um the body butter wholesale was bringing in like six five to six k by itself you know what i mean like it was insane so you know i, I know y'all were doing well with the wholesale i know we were doing well with the wholesale but mentally it is just so much you know what i mean like it really is because you know we got our whole entire ashanti collection and that wasn't even that was nothing a year ago like my actual brand was nothing a year ago and then now that it's something it's so hard to balance both you know what i mean like it's it's damn near impossible because the shanti collection takes up so much of you know our time it's like it leaves us no time to do wholesale and i feel like we've been slacking i know we've been slacking before, prior to us even um like stop posting and everything like we've just been slacking like there's so many things i wanted to bring to the shanti wholesale and i haven't been able to do because we've just been so busy with the you know ashanti collection and it's just it really is like running two entirely separate businesses and without like more people and more help and just um a better grasp on everything 
it's it's really is it really is damn near impossible and i hate to do that to all of our wholesale people because you guys are the ones that made our business like yes all the people on tiktok and all the supporters yes you guys made your business too but like no our ashanti wholesale babes they supported us from the jump they supported me like y'all supported us like from the jump you know what i mean like besides anything else like you guys really supported us and i appreciate that i'm glad you guys saw our products to be great value you know we were helping you guys out so much and we don't ever want to leave you guys in the dust so we're, we're definitely working on ebooks and everything right now um i actually have some of them up right now such as where we get our containers um and all that other stuff for the lip gloss i'm actually going to be working on another vendors list for the lip gloss showing you guys where we get our pigments from but you know you guys are what made your business like you guys are what brought me out of my dark spot and you guys are what gave us light to the ashanti collection because i told myself last year if i couldn't do anything within that year i would have to do something else this year you know what i mean like this year i was telling myself last year if i couldn't make it get my business to work i would have to go into a job or something like i can't be three years out of high school doing nothing you know what i mean like i was doing nothing other than working with my dad being miserable there like absolutely miserable um to starting this business and it wasn't doing what i needed it to do and to now a year later being to the point where actually i had to shut off a whole faucet of the business which is the part of the business that even made our business the business you know what i mean like i don't know i hope this video makes sense but for our own like mental sanity ashanti wholesale i don't want to say it's ever completely gotten rid of i definitely want to bring it back in some type of capacity once we find i guess the means to do so but especially since we're one running out of space two we finally like developed a smoother pattern for you know making our own products and bringing them out in time for restocks because it would be to the point where we would have these restocks set at a date and we would still not have the products made by that time frame you know what i mean like it was just it was bad so we're slowly getting better we've gotten so much better like even just thinking about like where we were even like back in like march like we were still doing things like so like slow and not right you know what i mean and just to think to where we are now and you know where we can be is crazy and we're nowhere near where we want to be but in the jam in the grand scheme of things like in order to focus and build up the ashanti collection to where i needed to be i need to be focused on it so that is why we made the decision to get rid of six figures. I wouldn't even, Ashanti Wholesale alone this year would have been like crazy. And I know it would have been crazy for you guys too, because I know you guys love our products just as much as our customers do. And I know it really would have been popping for y'all. I like, I know it already was popping for y'all. You know what I mean? And you know, it, it does suck to have to do that. But in the same breath, like we, we can't even, we can't even keep up. You know what I mean? Like we can't even keep up so much less nor do we want to give you guys sub quality products or be rushing through trying to make you guys stuff and whatever else because we're trying to you know go back to the shanti collection but you know long story short for our own like mental sanity like a shanti wholesale had to end and i, I just feel like i had a hard time because i knew that for a while um like i wasn't enjoying making products anymore i wasn't enjoying making lip gloss like it was just like a hassle more or less to me like i just wasn't enjoying it anymore i feel like it was just because it was just i was already just drained with doing what we were doing and then we had to like do that and tack that on and it was just it, just not how it should ever be you know what i mean it, it just it isn't how it ever should be and i don't want you guys to feel like you know we were really neglecting you guys because we weren't posting that wasn't even the case like we were just so busy like you know what I mean? like between my instagram page and the shanti wholesale page the notifications that we get are just wild and i just I don't know i just i know i've been slacking on that and i don't want to keep giving you guys some quality attention like i don't want to keep doing that because if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it right like i'm gonna do 100 percent. i'm not gonna do it at all you, you know what i mean so i wasn't gonna keep doing that it's like just get rid of it you know what i mean like stop dragging people along like stop making it seem like you guys are gonna bring all this stuff out you know you know because you, you can and you wanted to it's just the time frame and the time that it takes to do all that is just insane so yeah 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 i feel like i covered almost everything i wanted to cover in that video and i just want to say now that we've done that i feel like that's taken definitely a weight off of our shoulder and a slight amount because there's still so much things so many things that we need to do as a business to make sure we're on track with but i have so many plans and things i want to add to the shanti collection and guess what i can't even add those yet because i'm still working on so many other things so it's just it's one thing after another um, but in, in a good way, obviously, in a very, 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 very good way. 
Um, I'm gonna show you guys a lot more behind the scenes. I'm actually working right now on something very special, something that I've never really seen done in skincare before. I mean, we've seen it done in skin. Uh, we've seen this concept done in skincare before, but I'm taking it to a whole new level because you know what I mean. You know, our slogan is to be bold, and we are definitely going to be bold. I'm actually about to film part of that video now and take you guys on the behind the scenes of how we're going to create um, an entire collection from scratch, kind of. Not really from, well, kind of. You guys are gonna see the behind the scenes production of it. So yeah, and I'm gonna take you guys along now that we are able to do that. I have collection after collection because these next few months, all my business learners out there, these next few months are gonna be our most important. We're about to already be preparing for Black Friday um, and the holidays now. I have everything I have envisioned for what I wanna do for the holiday collection. I have it all written down in my notebook. I'm debating showing you guys. I probably will show you guys, but I can't upload that video until like towards the holidays because I don't want to show you guys obviously what I have planned so I'm trying to figure out how I can do that because I have everything written down in my notebook I have down like my notebook literally looks like the holiday collection I have things written down it looks like the fall collection the Halloween collection you know what I mean like I have things written down I have it detailed to what I want the packaging to look like to what I want the body blurs to look like to what I want you know certain things to look like and I know I want to bring lip gloss back so I have to figure that out there's just a lot of things that I'm a lot of things you know what i mean so definitely a good problem to have i'm even thinking right now i feel like i still have stuff to do but i feel like i need to film youtube videos like i feel like i have stuff to do still i have taxes i still have to do from last year just so much stuff to do but either way i just i don't know i feel like i had a hard hard a hard time letting go of the shanti wholesale because i know you know you guys I know our regulars and I know what our business did for you guys and how it helped you guys during the pandemic and you guys helped me during the pandemic you know what I mean like it's just like such a mutual thing like imagine like that being like you were in a really dark place and you're, you had a best friend that just came in and just like saved you and rescued you and like you know blah 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 and then you ended up having to like part with that friend you know what I mean like, it's just like that the connection right there is just wild so I don't really want to do that because you know what I mean like that's what made our business and I don't ever want to like I'm humble in that way like y'all are what made our business you know what I mean like you guys are what kept this going because I don't know where the heck I would have been if that didn't happen so yeah I don't know I don't know like it's nice to get off my chest but in the same way too like I'm all sad now because like hmm, you know I don't know not that I'm even sad about the money like I'm sad you know not that I'm sad about the money but I'm sad that that has to be how it has to be you know what I mean because you know you know I love all our regulars I mean, you know it just sucks it really just just suck but it needs to be done it needs to be done so i think that's all i have for you shanti babes um and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm sorry i had to leave off like this and i'm sorry i got a little rambly towards the end you guys know that's how i am please don't forget to like comment subscribe and leave some more videos you guys want to see down below for me and i'll see you shanti babes in my next video even do hair promos but I actually kind of want to start doing hair promos because like low-key I actually didn't really know like I low-key love putting on wigs and I love styling them and doing them so I kind of want to start like just telling you guys where I get my wigs from um and all that fun stuff like this video is by no means promotion like any type of promotion but I know how struggly and annoying it is to find wigs like a good quality wig so I'm going to tell you guys for the low low where I got this wig from which is 30 inches I bought this wig a thousand times and I bought it from Amazon, which Amazon is also really annoying to buy wigs from because you have a lot of fake reviews, fake comments and all that stuff. Like, look at this density. Now you don't be getting this on Amazon. Like I'm telling you guys, this was a body wave and I actually curled it, but I did a, I did a really good job curling it last week, but I went to the beach with this hair. So that's why it kind of looks the way it does, which is, I'm not saying it looks bad, but it definitely doesn't look like it looked popping last week. So it definitely needs a wash, but, but this wing is 30 inches and it actually is. 30 freaking inches like do you guys see this it's down to here practically to my waistline like after getting this wig i was like all right from now on i have to get long hair like point blank period and it was all black and i actually went ahead and bleached highlights in the front and i love them so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the picture of where I got this hair from because it's very, very, very annoying finding hair companies on Amazon that are reliable. I was actually thinking about making a whole entire YouTube video, but I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. But 
essentially this is where i got this wig from i'm telling you guys you guys want good quality wig a good quality human hair wig this is where you want to go this company right here because i'm telling you it is so annoying finding a good qual a brand to shop from my amazon i'm telling you guys right here that this wig is nice needs a little wash out of the packaging but aside from that and it's a five by foot a five by five closure unit which means this much is lace I actually have some glue right here that I need to go get off, but this it means this much is lace. I want to start getting I saw, I want to start getting wigs so I can style them. Like I miss going back to my I miss my colored wigs that I used to do. I just haven't had time to do them, and I would love to start doing that again because wigs make up your whole look. You know what I mean? Like your hair, not even just wigs. Your hair makes up like your entire look. So if you have bomb hair, you feel good, you look good. And I'm telling you guys, this hair is freaking bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and link the hair down below 30 inches body weight that's always what i buy 